All right, so in case you guys missed it, a few hours ago, we got the official in-game reveal for this year's Tanabata Celebration Unit, which is going to be a father-son Gallic Gun, Trunks, and Vegeta. Now, I'll be honest with you, this was not something that I had predicted. It's not something that I was expecting, but in hindsight, it's probably something that we all should have seen coming because if you think about it, there's been a lot of love for Goku and Gohan recently with the, you know, exchange unit and then the LR right after. So it was really about time that the other primary father-son unit in the franchise, which of course is Vegeta and Trunks, uh, got some shine as well, right? So yeah, with that in mind, this does make a lot of sense. Um, is it as hype as a new Vegito Blue, which is what a lot of people were hoping for and expecting. Um, not quite, not quite, but I am definitely cautiously optimistic about it because I think their animations will look amazing. I think that they're going to be a very, very powerful unit overall. And uh, honestly, like in my mind, as long as we still get the Tech Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening and the STR Rose Extreme Z Awakening, and maybe even the Tech LR Goku or Goku Black and Zamasu Extreme Z Awakening for this future saga celebration, I'm 100% happy. Like, I will be 100% okay with that, and this unit should be great as well. Um, for now, we don't have any information about what they do, what their leader skill is, passive, all that stuff, but that should be dropping. Within the next couple of days on Twitter, I would say like closer to the end of the month, I guess. So stay tuned for that. But uh, for now, as far as a wish list, um, I do really hope, I do really hope that their leader skill is joined forces 170% and then plus 30% for some other category. The point is, I want a new joined forces leader in the game because the best leader we have right now is either the golden frieza or 17 or the uh what's the other one it's not killing califla because they're 130 oh um the blue boys right the fizz blue boys so the frieza and 17 and blue boys they're both 150 percent for hp attack and defense which is fine but for today's standards not that great so hopefully one of these guys leader skills is join forces 170 and probably like Vegeta's family or Future Saga for the other category and then plus 30% for some third category. The point is if they're join forces 170 I'll be super happy because we need that. So uh, that's the only real request I have at the moment otherwise uh, I'm excited to find out what they do. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the uh you know, father, son, Gallic gun unit. Are you disappointed? Are you happy? Because it's something that is a little bit different. I mean, Vegito Blue would have made a lot of sense, obviously, because we did get two Gogetas basically for the seventh anniversary. So, you know, Vegito Blue does deserve some love now. But, uh, like I said, man, as long as we get that tech Vegito Blue Extreme Z Awakening, that's basically gonna be like. A new Vegito Blue because that guy's gonna be insane. Like he's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes the hardest hitting unit in the game with an Extreme Z Awakening, unless they screw it up, which is possible, but I don't think they will. I don't think they will, so yeah, super stoked for that. Otherwise, um there's not much else to say guys. No more information about them. I will definitely keep you you know, up to date once that info drops on Twitter. And, uh, oh, last thing I'll say before we go is that this does prove to us, or kind of does at least, confirms that it wasn't really supposed to be a superhero movie celebration for Tanabata as opposed to the Future Saga, right? Because some people were speculating that maybe they wanted to do superhero for Tanabata this year and then Future Saga for the worldwide celebration and if we had like received a dual Dokkan fest for Tanabata this year which is 
something that never happens, then that would, that would have been confirmation that they moved up the Future Saga celebration from Worldwide to Tanabata, right? But since we're only getting one unit, it does seem like this was the original plan. Maybe, obviously there's no way to know for sure, but that's just what it seems like to me. Like this was always the plan. And uh, I guess Superhero was always supposed to be for the worldwide celebration, which makes a lot of sense since they want to capitalize on the hype for both sides, like for Global and JP, right? At the same time, since it's going to be a globally released movie. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's all I got to say. Um, that is the video. Once again, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.